The ripple editing mode is an indispensable tool for post-processing sessions. The general idea is that once you select and delete a portion of a track, the rest of the track is automatically moved to the left to fill the gap. Ardor has been providing this mode for many years, but now there are multiple styles of ripple editing in the program. Each style was created with a particular use case in mind. When you need to ripple delete the same part in multiple tracks, use the selected mode. You can pre-select the tracks of interest and then create a range selection to ripple delete. You can also start creating a range selection in one track, then drag the cursor up or down to add adjacent tracks to the selection. When all visible tracks in the session have to be edited in the same way, use the All mode. This will automatically select these tracks and draw the range selection highlight over all of them. The interview mode was created with the editing of podcasts in mind. There are generally two reasons you want to delete something when you are editing an interview. In the first case, all tracks contain nothing of substance, like silence or unimportant chatter, so they all need to be treated equally. In the second case, one of the mics picked up some sort of noise or an off-scene exclamation that needs to be edited out without affecting the rest of the interview. So in the interview mode, deleting a range selection in multiple selected tracks will apply the ripple logic to these tracks. But deleting a region or a range selection in just one track will temporarily disable the ripple logic. In that case, everyone's comments will maintain their respective positions in time. 